Hello, it's Janelle here, and I'm blinking like a Christmas tree. I'm sorry, I hope that isn't annoying. Um, anywho, it is day 68 already of my 96-day Happy, Healthy, and Hot Challenge. I can't believe that I'm getting so close to the end of this thing. And um, throughout this whole challenge, as you know, I've been focusing on weight loss and getting fit. And I have to tell you, over the past week, I have not been exercising that much. I haven't been getting the uh, amount or quality of sleep that I would prefer, and I definitely haven't been eating perfectly. And I learned. It really surprised me. But I learned that I'm not perfect. I was like, are you kidding me? Since when? I've always been perfect. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So yeah, not perfect. Kind of like slipping up a lot. So when you're slipping up in your workout or you're like, kind of taking two steps backwards when you're trying to reach your goals, you're really at a crossroads. Like, do you, you know, give up and be like, ah, oh, you can't follow this through, just uh, stay fat, and just, you know, you don't really need to reach your goals, or you idiot, you failure, like, you know, do you tear yourself apart when you make a mistake, or... Do you get up, dust yourself off, and continue onwards towards the dream? Well, as I'm sure you can guess, I am dusting myself off and picking myself back up and continuing onwards. And um, a lot of the times that can be a lot more easier said than done. So I have two tips for you if you are messing up and you feel like giving up and you feel like a big time loser dork failure. <laughs> so the first tip is to look for evidence of any time at all in your entire history of when you have reached a goal, that you've been a winner, that you have followed through, that you've gotten what you want, maybe even more than what you wanted. And just look for any sort of evidence because the more that you can, um, like, confirm to yourself and to your subconscious that you are, in fact, a person who follows through and who reaches the goals that you set for yourself, the more um, motivated and positive you'll feel about doing it again this time. And the second tip woo, <laughs> that I have for you is that... Um, you know, we can't do this alone. Like, I have you here with me that I'm witness, you are a witness to my journey. And um, so I'm not doing this alone. And you can't do this alone either. No one can do anything in life alone. So the second tip that I have for you is to get yourself a solid support structure of people around you who are going to make you feel... Um, make you feel inspired and motivated and that they don't drag you down, they don't laugh at your dreams, they don't tell you that you can't do it. All that they are is positive inspiration and encouragement for you. And um, sometimes we can find this in our family, sometimes we can find this with our friends, sometimes we're lucky enough to have both. Um, and what I have found, I do, I'm lucky enough to have both. Thank you, friends and family. Um, and what I've also found to be really, really helpful is investing in some sort of program because when you put your money uh, on the line, you are going to go after it with even more vigor than if you just, um, you know, put your your will <laughs> uh, behind it. When you put money down, you are way more likely to follow through. So find, you know, a program or a coach or someone who is going to be a good investment for you. And if you want to start your own 96-day happy, healthy, and hot challenge with me, you can do that for free today, and I will help uh, to cheer you on. So just email me at b at happy, healthy, and hot .com. I'll send you my free guide so that you can design your own 96-day challenge that will help you meet your goals. So that's b at happy, healthy, and hot .com. And if you uh, want to know how to spell that exactly, just go below the video. It's in the description. And don't give up. I believe in you. And we're not perfect. No one's perfect. So until tomorrow, mwah.